Every summer, people gravitate toward a song or an album that becomes their summer go-to. Or they create a summer playlist and they hit shuffle and repeat all summer long. There's just something about summer and music that goes together. There's also something about Christianity and music that goes together too. I remember when I started following Jesus for some reason, I felt the need to start singing to Jesus as well. My new faith required a new playlist to go with it. But these days for many people, singing can be a little bit awkward. Even when you come to church, singing can be hard. You've had a hard week, you're going through a hard season, and there's this heaviness in your soul that makes it really hard to sing to the Lord. Some people don't sing because they say it's not my type of music. And some people don't sing because they think they can't sing. So while the Bible makes it clear that we're to be this singing kind of people often, many of us are more like mouthing along with the words kind of people. But it turns out there are a lot of good reasons for us to sing. First of all, we need to sing because we were created for singing. It's how God's designed us. Singing is written into our DNA. Did you know that when a baby is still in the womb at about the 12 week mark, their vocal cords are already in place and they can actually use them before they're born. Our lungs, our vocal cords, our mouth, our tongue, our lips. Singing is not an accident. It's something we were made for and something human beings have been doing for thousands of years. Second reason why we need to sing is that we're connected through singing. Singing is this communal activity that brings connection and togetherness, even among a diversity of people. Research has shown that when we sing together, it synchronizes our heartbeats and our breathing with each other. It's like we're all breathing as one lung. Psalm 96 says, sing to the Lord all the families of the nations. Why? Because singing brings together different people, different nations, different tribes, different families all into one. And it helps us see that we're not alone. When I sing, I'm speaking to you. When you sing, you're speaking to me. Singing is God's gift that we give to each other. It's how we build one another up and encourage one another. Thirdly though, we got to sing because we're changed by singing. Music does stuff to our soul that mere words can't. Many say the most important part of a church service is the preaching, but singing gets God's word into us in a way that preaching just can't do. Whether it's a simple song or a big theological hymn, music teaches us. There have been times and places where people couldn't read and yet they could still sing. And singing is how they learn the Bible and learn about God and we're changed in the process. Fourthly, we've got to sing because we communicate something by singing. When we sing in church, our songs are telling the world the story of the marvelous works of God. Our songs become little messengers of truth so other people can hear. We declare his glory among the nations and his marvelous works among the peoples. Our act of singing is a powerful declaration to the world of our unity in Christ. There's so much division and conflict in the world, but when people hear us singing, it says, hey, maybe God is real, maybe the gospel is true, maybe peace is possible. Singing is an invitation for others to believe. When we sing vertically, it reverberates horizontally. So why do we sing? One, because we're created for singing. Two, we're connected through singing. Three, we're changed by singing. And four, we communicate by singing. But let's end with this one. We're compelled to sing. The reason we sing is that we have to, we have to sing. Because once we come to know who this God is and how much he loves us and what God has done for us in Jesus Christ, the only thing we can really do is sing about it. God's love for us calls forth songs from us. We're compelled to sing. Jesus said, if you remain silent, even the rocks will cry out. So that's why we sing, because we are created for singing, we're connected through singing, we're changed by singing, and we communicate the good news through singing. And when we come to know who God is, we're just compelled.